Well, it's Wednesday, April the 3rd. First farmer's market of the season. Got my truck loaded up. Look at that. I need a truck stretcher. Sharpness tables, supplies, God. I've been inundated with knives. That's why I haven't been spinning. I'll put the knives at the end. I mean, unbelievable knives. You won't believe it. Mumbles man, he went to the beach. He might be going today. The tide's low, I think, in about an hour. He found a 10K tow ring one day last week. We had a bad storm yesterday and the day before. Lots of wind, lots of rain. Mumbles man, I'm pretty sure he'll probably go today. His knee's been bothering him, but he thinks he's got the grip on that. Beaver, Beaver's in Atlanta. Beaver hunted some private beach somewhere in Atlanta. Yes, day before yesterday, found four rings. Some change, a silver coin, coin or two, no gold rings, all junk. I see the gig master found a, his first his first ring at the land of not a gold ring. I think it was a 14k. I haven't looked at the video, but it's in there. Gig master. Other than that, it's just been knives and more knives. I later just brought me a lawnmower blade this morning. I'll do that tomorrow. I got two lawnmower blades in the truck. People are picking up at the market today. It's just, that's all it's been. That's why I haven't been doing any videos. The Indians are outside. Jack's got cancers now on his lips. We're going to take them to the doctor on the 11th, get, cut some of them off. We bobs in one of them. I forget what it was. It wasn't good. Melanoma or some kind. I don't particularly care for that. But nothing I can do about it. Okay, I'll get back to you in a little bit. There's 15 pocket knives a guy sent me. That box right there. I've got five of them done. I got ten more to do. I don't know if I ever showed you those German daggers, but I got I did two German daggers, World War II German daggers for a guy at a gun show about two months ago. And then he sent me five more to sharp not to sharpen, just to polish and clean up, get the dust off of them, rust and make them presentable. He's a collector. So he sent me four more. One day last week, I shipped him back to him. This is an antique dollhouse that Chris's mother-in-law's mother or somebody had. It's been in her attic for a long time. She's refurbishing it for her granddaughter in New York. Painting it, cleaning all the windows up. Going to put new stuff inside of it. It's quite a project. A big dollhouse. How old is Annie going to be? Five. Five. She'll be five in a couple of days. Okay. Well, we're here. Everybody's setting up. Seafood lady. My feather sign. My other sign. My leader. Pat. Seafood, Seafield Farm. I don't know who. That's a new guy. Got eggs and I don't know what all he's got. Joy sickles. That's the best of it. And all those vendors over there. We'll take a spin over there in a little while. Most of them from last year, but there's two or three new ones. There's the, there's the market leader herself. Amy. I'm on the other end this year. Last year, remember, we was on that end down there by that big apartment building. They moved me on this end. I like it. 
Okay, I'll get back to you. We got 25 minutes to go, and we got our first customer was the Kershaw. You can see the tip is missing on it. We got to do a little tip work. He's some kind of inspector here. I don't know what he. This is where I was last year. All right, this is where I was last year. They got a vegetable guy, Norma's Produce. That's Mr. Sidney. He was in the same spot across from me last year. That's the full quiver egg people with all the fancy sausages and stuff like that. That's Captain Sidney's stuff. And I'll eat the spiders, but I'll take that to go home. Yeah. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing okay. How you doing? Good. Getting ready, right? Howdy, howdy. <laughs> now look at this. This is brand new. I mean, brand new, like ooh, baby. Classic homemade donuts. Good, googa booga. Fresh made lemonade. Look at that's a big tent, like two tents put together. Fresh, hot, classic, homemade donuts. How y'all doing? Not too bad, I'm about to say. Okay. Dessert guy, as the owner, I mean the leader, Bow Wow Meow. This is a flower. Let's see who this is. Well, Badocious Bread. They're there from last year. That's the best of it. The honey lady. Mm. The wine guy from last year. Cleaning lady from last year. Cheese lady from last year. And uh, I don't know what that is. And this is new. This is or organic handcrafted teas. Okay, buddy. Yeah, I specialize in handcrafted teats. I see that. Yes, sir. Were you here last year for a short spell? No, sir. I, I've never been here before. It's my first year. I thought I'd run into you someplace. And we're back to the other side now. The popsicle lady. This one want me to get a look at. Seafield Farms. Let's see what they sell. Local produce. We live where we grow. We love where we live. No spray chemicals. Eggs. And greens. Okay. Kate Charles, Virginia. And Pat, the seafood lady. The produce lady. And that's the guy I sharpened the knife for. Hey. There's my buffer. My sisal wheel. My little lightweight buffer. I got my scissor sharpener, my uh, wolf arm, and my wolf clamp on my variable speed veil. One by 42 inch, 120 grit belt. Wolf, the best of it. Other than that, my little Honda. Oh, church is ringing. Three o'clock. And you take a credit card? Mm -hmm. Check or cash or credit card. Okay, great. Or PayPal. Some people like use PayPal. First real customer. Okay. The coffee guy got here late today. I don't think this thing's on. You can't see the damn thing because of the sun. Oh, yeah, it is on. Ah, a wild adventure. Anyway, the coffee guy's here now. He was late getting here. But you can see there's a lot of people there. And it's exactly like four minutes after four, so I imagine there'd be some more people when the people get off from work, the ones that work till like five or so. This market was last year, you remember, uh, four to seven. I mean, three to seven. They changed that too. It's only three to six this year, which is okay with me. I'm not complaining about that. 
don't know how these hot, hot dogs are doing. I mean, uh, donuts. Man, they're not on my diet. I wish they were. I have about six of them. Ten, maybe. Look at them. They weren't ready when we was over here earlier. Good gracious. God, no. Bowser. What? <laughs> I made it home just in time. Then I Jack. Circus trained dog. That's right. Jack the circus trained dog. He go Indian. She don't like the little ball, she likes the big ones. This size. Jack won't touch him. She loves him. Isn't that funny? <laughs> okay. You ready? You are. You're a big circus train, Jack. Yes, you are. I don't know how long Jack's going to be with us, but right now he's as spry as a young pup. We had him on some arthritis medicine. For six months. He's like a different dog. Aren't you big old Jack? Yeah, that's right. You wanna crow some? Crow for us. No wing crow. AKA Catman Do. Yeah, crow. You can't eat me out. You can crow, though. Patriarch, how are you doing? That's right. Sausages and cabbage. And carrots. Carrots. And no apples? Nope. And onions. Mmm, I like I like it. Italian sausage. Italian sausage. Yeah, I didn't think it was the Chinese. Conundrum. Fancy stuff right here. <laughs>